Listen, Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. Hello, who's here? I gotta tell someone about my crap fest of a day. You. Sorry, I have no time to attend crap fest. Just pick me up a little t-shirt. Uh, the kids are finishing their dinner. That means I am off the clock, so night. Hold it, where are you running off to in your new fancy man shirt? New, not fancy. Keep a track of my clothes, are you? Yeah, your clothes are interesting. You, not so much. I got a date, okay? Do you remember those? Yeah, I date. I've dated recently. Our internet chat rooms count. <laughs> Sucks I have no privacy here. <laughs> oh, hey, since um, you're here, am I showing off a little too much cleavage for a first date? Wow, who is this girl? I mean, she must be pretty special to get you all duded up and nervous. I am not nervous. Joe Longo never loses his cool. Yeah, of course. Hey, is that a little spaghetti sauce on your collar? What? Where? <laughs> that? Is that what you... No, that? I, I think that's just a shadow from my chin. Is that what you saw? No, I just... You know, yeah. Joe, I know I can be critical about what you wear and, you know, what you say and how you load the dishwasher. I mean, knives facing up. Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> but, you know, when it comes to your personal life, I will withhold judgment. Now, who is she? Fine. Um, see, it's weird, because her and I, uh, well, we... It's, um, Tiffany. Oh, your ex-wife? Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> Are you insane? I mean, uh, she's, she's a lunatic. Have you lost your freaking mind? You're, like, totally spitting on my shirt right now. <laughs> it's all good. Tiffany? The same Tiffany who married you and then dumped your ass the minute the gravy train ran out of gravy? With a little distance and further reflection, she realized that she didn't miss all that stuff, all right? And what she really missed was, uh, all this stuff. So it took her four months to realize that? I missed Sex in the City the day it went off the air. And those movies have not helped. This Tiffany now is the real Tiffany, all right? This is the girl that I fell for three years ago when I spotted her across a crowded broker bar. Aww. And out of all the other gold diggers, you chose her. <laughs> It's like a romance novel. We're gonna take things slow and see where they go, all right? We're gonna start out as friends and go from there. Look, I appreciate you looking out for me, but it's just dinner, so relax. Just dinner? That's like saying it's just murder. All right, that woman is toxic. I mean, when you get close to her, parts start falling off. You had hair when you met her, right? Yeah. Who knows what you lose next? I think I'll take my chances with her, all right? But not with this shirt. I gotta change. Yeah, see if you can find a shirt made out of money. That'll get her attention. Hey. No computers at the dinner table, unless you're doing my online traffic school. <laughs> what? Isabel Libby is in the lead for most popular. She's a horrible person. Horrible works in high school. Plus, she has a pool. <laughs> you know the Grant rant, the school blog? Well, they're doing a poll for class favorites. Ah, uh, please don't draw me into this. <laughs> Unfair. I hate all of these people. This is evil. The people getting votes for best looking and best eyes and best smile, Oh, this is nothing but a popularity contest. Honey, usually when people are running for most popular, it's a popularity contest. I don't know why you care what other people think about you. I mean, I wouldn't want somebody slapping a label on me. Oh, too late, Snotty McBooger. I had a cold last month. Why can't people get over this? You know, when I was in high school, the boys voted me easiest. To get along with. Wow, two fancy man shirts. Yeah, I have more than one shirt. It's really uh, crazy down there. It's like I'm a rock star. <laughs> Who's your date with? Uh, well, it's... His ex, Tiffany. Oh, my God. Joe, don't. Hey, stop it, all of you, all right? Look, I realize in haste, after we broke up, I may have said some things that made her sound like a... Uh... Money-grubbing bitch. <laughs> I'm not being mean. That's the legal term. I am convinced that if you all met Tiffany, you would change your minds. In fact, you know what? I'm going to make that happen. Oh, my God. Gosh, I get to meet my nanny's ex-wife? It's a moment every girl dreams of. And you will find that she is a kind, caring, genuine human being. Yeah, with just a touch of silicone. All right, fine. She's 98% genuine. There she is, looking at it again. Well, look who's in the lead now. I mean, there's no way Annette Ryan is most popular anything, except maybe with the entire football team. Why do you care? I don't care. Uh -huh. Those are the clenched fists of someone who doesn't care. I could get votes if I wanted to. You know, I could be best hair, nicest smile. I could be sweet as damn it. 
Well, you definitely got a shot at most delusional. It is not that hard to win these. It's all about getting attention and kissing up. Oh, I could totally take them down. I would be inclined to say you are a lot of talk. And I'd be inclined to say shut up and watch me. Okay, okay, which one are you going for? All of them. Smartest, best friend, most compassion. Oh, the school is gonna tremble at my greatness. Or possibly shove you in a locker. citizen rent increase exemption proposal. Oh, God, I'm gonna need some oxygen to get through this one. <clears throat> oh, thank you, whoever you are. Oh, my gosh, are you Mel Burke? Tiffany? Uh-huh. Wow, so we finally get to meet. I was expecting someone much less attractive. You know, helmet hair, scarf covering up a big chicken neck. <laughs> but look at you, you're pretty. I mean, not enough to make me worry, but a strong six. Good for you. Well, I am double delighted to meet you. <laughs> Come on in. Thank you. Oh, where's my Jojo bee? Uh, Jojo bee? Yeah, that's what I call Joe. Did he tell you his pet name for me? Actually, he's called you quite a few names. <laughs> Listen, Joe is just dropping the kids off at a basketball game. He'll be back in a few minutes. Can I get you a glass of wine? No. I mean, I shouldn't. I can't because, well, no reason. Just nothing. Okay, I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> oh, wow, boy. Okay, that was like a bullet of truth. Um, <laughs> I am uncomfortable. <laughs> Please don't say anything. It's just been a few days. I'm late. You know what I mean. I have read our bodies ourselves. <laughs> um, so does Joe know about this? No, and you can't tell him. Please, promise me you won't tell him. Promise, pinky swear on our friendship. Our friendship? Oh, you feel it too? <gasps> oh, it's like we've known each other forever. Yeah. <laughs> it does seem that way. <sighs> oh, I feel so much better. <sighs> now I can really let it all out. Oh, you've been holding back? I've had no one to talk to about this since it happened. My boobs are all tender, and I have gas like a truck driver. Wow, you have been holding back. Okay, please continue to do so. Uh, but you know, maybe you need to talk to Joe about this. Oh, no, no, no. Jojo B and I just reconnected. I don't want to scare him off. He's such a special guy, and I've dated a lot of guys. A lot. <laughs> like a parking lot? How could this have happened? I thought I had that rhythm method down pat. Yeah, well, sometimes you miss a beat. Uh, but look, if you want a future with Joe, you need to tell him about this. Oh, no. I mean, not for a few months. I can hide it under big, bulky clothes. Well, you'll lend me something, right? Hey, I'm just gonna chalk that up to you not thinking clearly. <laughs> Oh, where's my Jojo B? I need my Jojo B. Okay, sweetie, you're gonna have to stop saying Jojo B because it does something to me right here. Hey, Mel, is uh, Tiffy Pop? Jojo B. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm late. Yeah, you're not the only one. <laughs> so, what are you two ladies been doing up here, huh? Talking about boys and sharing secrets? Oh, uh, we've been sharing, and there are secrets, but not for long, right, Tiff? Yeah, yeah. Let's go, Joe. <laughs> She's kind of sweet, isn't she? Come on, Jojo B. Come on, Tiffy Pop. Yeah, Tiffy gonna pop. <laughs>
All right, that's gonna work itself out. I hope. I mean, there's a school counselor, right? <laughs> All right, speaking of drama, just curious, Tiffany didn't mention anything we talked about last night? As hard as this may be for you to believe, we actually didn't talk about you. Joe, I, I told you I have to be at school 45 minutes early today, right? No, you didn't. I wrote it down. <laughs> How could I not see that? All right, let's move. Joe, I, I just... I can't. I gotta get him to school. Can it wait? Yeah, I can wait. Mel, the anti-cruising police detail in the park was just caught cruising in the park. The press want a statement. You're not listening. Do you hate me? Steph, sit. I need some advice. From... from... from me? Okay. All right, girl to girl, it's about a pregnancy. Oh, my God! You're pregnant? How? I mean, why? I mean, yikes! An unmarried, promiscuous city official? The press is gonna crucify us. Oh, but I think a baby is a blessing. Wow, well, I think a, a calm assistant is a blessing. I'm not pregnant. It's about a friend. Oh, a friend. Right. Good, I can spin that. How would you be able to spin that if I were actually pregnant and I said that some... Never mind. All right, here's the deal. Joe has started seeing his ex-wife again. <gasps> My reaction exactly, both both hands. <laughs> yeah, so she comes over when Joe's not home so I can see what a nice piece of psychotic work she is. And then she blurts out that she's pregnant and I can't tell Joe. But he deserves to know that he's seeing someone who's gonna have another man's baby. What, what the hell am I supposed to do? I should have stopped you before you unloaded all this. I'm really terrible at giving advice. I thought this was gonna be about your new hair color because on that. <laughs> Okay, dig deeper. My mother, Elaine, is really good at these kinds of situations. So I think this is what she would say. <laughs> Darling, I think you got a thing for this Joe guy, and that's what's really bothering you. You need to figure out your own feelings first, and then tell him what that girl told you, and you don't want him getting back with that crazy hussy. <laughs> Thanks, Stephanie. Oh, don't thank me. Thank Elaine. Yeah, but she's not actually. Thanks, Elaine. Great! You're home early. No, this is not a great you're home early. This is, uh, you're home early. Why? What's wrong? There's something I need to tell you. Me first. Check out this little awesome piece of technology I just got us. No longer. Well, I have to read a shopping list written in your chicken scratch. My chicken scratch? Yours looks like a two-year-old used a broken crayon on a wet napkin. Whatever. Watch this. <clears throat> Bananas. Bananas. Huh? Isn't that great? It prints out everything that you say. Go ahead. Give it a try. No, Joe, I... Come on, come on. Just Joe, give it a try. I need to tell you something. Like, say it in the machine. Say it in the machine, all right? Try it. By the way, it helps if you enunciate. Tiffany got knocked up by some guy, and she's not telling you. Uh-oh. Why are you saying uh-oh? The irresponsible idiot who got her pregnant should be saying uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's you? You're the father of Tiffany's baby? But I thought you were taking it slow. I thought it was a burgeoning friendship. It burgeoned. But your first date was just last week. How could it possibly be you? Yeah, that was our first date. But it wasn't technically the first time we had been together since we broke up. None of this is making any sense. Can we talk in private? All right, about a month ago, uh, Tiffany came by the house. I would have remembered that. No, it was in the middle of the day. You were out uh, saving Toledo and all. Anyway, she came by and she said that she missed me and that she was ready to take our marriage vows seriously. Oh, and what were your vows? Let's do this thing? <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Listening, not judging. Maybe just a little. It was actually kind of amazing. I mean, here I am, you know, broke and living in someone else's house and she still wanted to be with me. I mean, that's, that's love, right? So you think it's true love because you had a quickie in the basement? We never made it to the basement. Whoa, whoa, whoa. where'd you make it? Well, that, that, that's not important. What's important My is room? That... What? No. I would never. That's disgusting. Plus, it would've taken way too long to get up there. Anyway, the point is... Where? You, you really have to know where? Yes. Oh, fine. All right. It happened, um... Oh, gross me out! Oh, my God, you just let me sit there? That's not even Scotch 
afraid. <laughs> but then again, nothing was protected around here, was it? Hey, I am sorry, all right, but I got a lot bigger problems to worry about right now than deflowering your sofa. Yeah, well, I thought you were building trust. Is this how you build trust? Well, with her, not with you. And do you even give any thought to what life with a baby is going to be like? What do you? I just found out five minutes ago. It's still sinking in. It's definitely sinking. Oh, God, it just sunk. <laughs> how could I be so careless? How could I do this? I mean, you know, our entire marriage, I never gave her a present once without wrapping it first. <laughs> All right. I know. <laughs> I know. You're... You're a good person who didn't mean to slip up. But I did. I did, didn't I? I'm gonna have to remarry Tiffany. I'm gonna have to move out of here and get my own place and, you know, probably get a second job. And I'll be up all night changing diapers, so I'll have no time at all to go to the gym, so all the years that I've sunk into this body are gonna be completely wasted. <laughs> I'm gonna have to call Tiffany right now and propose. Okay, you know what? I don't think the answer to this problem is more Tiffany. Um, I think this is a time to breathe and think and just keep Tiffany out of your mind. Jojo B! Oh, no. Tiffy Pop! Jojo B, I have to see you. There's something I need to talk to you about. Sweetie, it's okay. No, tell me about the baby. <gasps> How could you? After you pinky swore on our friendship. Okay, what kind of legal contract is this? <laughs> Tiffany, it's okay, all right? I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this, and I am up for the challenge, and I will be a, a great, great father. How could I have ever let you go? Oh, and by the way, I got my period. I'm not pregnant. Oh, thank the infertile gods! I mean, whatever. So, okay, okay, so you're not pregnant, which means that I'm not pregnant. Well, this whole baby scare got me thinking about us, how great we were together and how great we could be again. Tell me you don't think about it. I do sometimes, yeah. There's no problem between us that a baby couldn't solve. <laughs> Let's make a baby. Right here on a lucky couch. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're like a big carnival of crazy. <laughs> How about it, Jojo B? Joe. But she needs me. She needs me to go to her right now and wrap my big, strong arms around her. No, 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 no. She needs a straight jacket with big, strong straps around her. <laughs> Just don't want you to race back into this relationship for the wrong reasons. All right, I'm gonna give you two a minute while I go call one of those crime scene cleanup crews. Look, Tiffany. Um... Uh-uh. Tippy Pop. <laughs> Tiffany, um, although your offer is very tempting, having a baby is a really big decision. So I think that um, you and I should just take a little bit of time to think about this, you know, in our own places and just know that we'll always have the the couch. <clears throat> oh, okay, sure. No hurry, but uh, just so you know, I'll be ovulating in two weeks. Call me. I will definitely consider that. Oh, you'll call me. <laughs> wow, she is uh, crazy hot. <laughs> yeah, you're half right. <laughs> I hope you're really not seriously gonna get back into that whole thing. I mean, you deserve a nice, normal, sane woman. Know where I can find one of those? Not in my immediate circle. Hey, Burke. Thanks for looking out for me. Yeah, well, nobody needs chaos like that in his life. I don't know, I sort of like a little bit of chaos in my life. <laughs> This whole thing is your fault. Oh, except for all the parts that are your fault. I thought that guy on top of you was a pervert. Okay, when you say pervert, I know I can't duck it. What happened? Who did that to your eye? Oh, I'll tell you. Okay, you remember this morning when I said that I was gonna fake faint? And your auntie tried harder to stop you? Mm-hmm, yes, go on. Well, I did. And then some old guy jumped on top of me to give me CPR. Yeah, I never saw her faint. I just saw this big dude on top of her, so I jumped on top of him. He was the P.E. teacher. Mr. Carlson? He's enormous. Yeah, and he doesn't like it when people grab him by the whistle. Well, you should mind your own business. You should thank me for pulling old bald men off of you. All right, take this to the kitchen. All right, we need to get a steak in the eye immediately. So, is this enough chaos for you? Yeah, it'll do for now. <laughs> So how's the uh, steak, man? 
What's good? Joe, this isn't the same one I had on my eye for three hours, is it? Everybody's got to live on a budget. <laughs> you guys, look. I made the list. I made the list. Lennox Scanlon, most unpredictable. And we're happy about this? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm on the board. Not that I, you know, care about these things. Yeah, we don't know what she thinks because she's unpredictable. Yeah, I could leave up the stairs or I could leave through the door. We just don't know. And we don't care. This is nice. You know, we should do labels like this in our house. Um, <clears throat> for instance, I would be best hair, best aunt, and uh, best personality. Well, what on opposite day? Yeah, well, you would get most mature, not. Right after you got least consistent about everything you ever say. Ryder, do you want to go upstairs? I cannot deal with one of these right now. Yeah, me either. What was that? What are you, a roadrunner or something? You know what? You would get most annoying. Well, you get most annoying? Yeah, most well, annoying. I, really? Okay, well, fine. Well, I learned from the best. And most bald. <laughs> Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. Hey, Burke. Um, are you uh, working out or giving birth to an armchair? You know, from where I'm sitting, I could punch you so hard it would change your voice. So tell me, how did this happen? Did you lose a bet? Oh, very funny. No, I lost my breath. The elevators were out at work, and I had to take the stairs, and by the third flight, I was gasping for air. The third flight? Well, almost the fourth. <laughs> anyway, the 5K run for the schools that I stupidly signed up for is around the corner, and then it hit me. That you're actually gonna have to, uh, you know, run? No, I gotta stop signing up for stuff. But, but it's too late for that. You know the first thing to go when you're a busy single woman raising your convicted sister's teenagers? Your workout. No, please, before the uh, kids and the council thing, your idea of a workout was dancing drunk till dawn. Yep. And with the right trainer, I can regain that kind of endurance. All right, so when do you want to do this? You want to uh, train in the morning before you go to work? Uh, how about when you're not around? Oh, did you think when I said a trainer that I meant you? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, who else? Uh, short answer? Anybody else. <laughs> oh, that's my trainer. You want me to, okay. okay. <clears throat> Why are you working out before your trainer comes over? You know, it's like cleaning the house before the cleaning lady comes, or, uh, you know, washing the dishes before you put them in the dishwasher. Yeah, or other things that you never do. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hello. I'm Lindsay Gates, looking for Mel Burke. You found her. It is you. I don't want to sound too nerdy, but I watch all the city council hearings. Aw, a public access fan that doesn't wear a tinfoil hat. <laughs> I feel like I'm training a celebrity. Oh, please, I'm just another out-of-shape council person. The youngest out-of-shape council person in the city's history, by the way. Well, this is definitely not going to be about weight loss because you look great. Oh, shut up, I do not. I love you. You're my, you're my new best friend. <laughs> you ladies can feel free to use my uh, weight bench out in the garage if you need it. Oh, I don't believe in weights. The body is its own gym. Okay. Well, plus, you know, you save on membership fees, too, so that's kind of cool. Uh, this is Joe Longo. He takes care of the kids. How? By bench pressing them? <laughs> no. <laughs> Although I could. Mm. Honey, don't worry. We are not doing that to you. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought you were here to get her in shape. The shape of a real person, not an action figure. <laughs> now, let's get going. Okay. She's great, isn't she? Grading? Yes, she is. Hulk mad. Mm. Smash many walls. I guess you're stuck with me. Wow. Three sessions deep and I feel better. Stronger. A new me. Gluteus fabulous. 
That's the endorphin rush, another benefit of exercise. Oh. Who knew a legal high could feel so good? I mean, except for the pleasure of getting straight A's in high school. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love that story. Did you get a chance to try the pomegranate juice with vodka? I'm a believer. I mean, now I can get my drink on and get my antioxidants, thank you. Hey, anything for my favorite client? Okay, Bliss sisters. Um, I'm gonna go grab a few minutes on the bench if you're all through with your lady workout. You do any elongating for those muscles? Who's asking? I was just thinking you could benefit from yoga or Pilates to give you some flexibility instead of this uh, Popeye thing you got going. <laughs> Popeye. <laughs> I never thought of that one. Well, I never said it out loud. Listen, as much as I appreciate your unsolicited meddling, which really isn't a lot, let me just say that, um, I am what I am. Ah, oh, he's just a little sensitive, you know, so you might want to... Sure, I'll go easy on him. No, 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 I was going to say tear him a new can of spinach. <laughs> <sighs> okay, was that a you want to talk sigh or a stand on my business sigh? I'm okay, just listening to some music. Oh. Songs that make me feel alive from Beckett. Songs that make me cry from Beckett. Songs from Beckett from Beckett. <laughs> Who are these from? Beckett. Mm. We were such good friends. This was that cute geeky guy, right? Who had a crush on you? Yes, that's him. And he's seeing Alexis Swinton now and he's off limits and I lost a friend. It's not like I want to be his girlfriend or anything, but I miss hanging out with him. Okay, so you want the friendship back? Yes. Can that work? Can you be friends with a guy who has a girlfriend? Sure, you know, boys just need instructions. You know, you gotta tell them what you want and define the boundaries. Oh, and wear baggy clothes. Beckett? Hey, Lennox. Long time no friend. Yeah. Is it all right if I come in? Yeah, yeah, that's kind of why I asked you over. Just making sure, didn't want to push things. So, um, I burned you a new mix CD. Songs of Friendship Only, from Beckett. Nice. And a bunch of graphic novels where the hero does not get the girl. So. You follow instructions well. It was all in your text. I even printed out a copy for reference. Wow, you laminated it. Of course, it's important. Put that down. Oh. So, um, what have you been up to, my good friend? Uh, oh, I brought you this flyer. They're doing a whole week of French films at the museum. Oh, are you guys going? No, uh, Alexis hates subtitles and French people and anything where mimes could suddenly appear. <laughs> but maybe we could go. That's friends, right? Right, because some things you do with your girlfriend and... Some things you do with your friend friend. <sighs> Not that there's anything wrong with your girlfriend. No, Alexis is... Great. She is great. <laughs> great, great. The best part of Josh moving out is I have a lot more closet space and a lot less cheating on me. <laughs> you can laugh, but you have to hold the pose. Oh, okay, I'm holding the pose and I'm holding in my pee. That's a good exercise too. Oh wow, you're working every muscle I've got. Mel, hey, I'm sorry to bother you, but uh, your phone's been ringing off the hook and I know I'm forbidden to answer it, but then this text came in that said unbelievably important. Oh my God, I missed four calls. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Well, because I didn't get sick of Hey Ya until the fourth one. Oh, they moved up my budget hearing. I'm sorry, Linz, I gotta go. You still have 15 minutes. Well, you know what? My gift to you, Joe. 15 minutes with an actual trainer. You two play nice. Whoa, wait, M Mel? Actually, yo, Mel, that's per um, I'm really... Well, I'd be very happy to show you something, but I don't think it would do any good. You really think I could benefit from your little girly stretches? Give it a try, unless you think it's something you can't do. Crouch down like that with both arms out? Whew, it's gonna be tough. <laughs> Where'd you learn this, huh? Back of a granola box? Where does all this anger come from? Did you get it with the muscles? Maybe it comes from the fact I've been working out since the second grade, now I have a know-it-all in tights telling me what's going on. Well, if you can't do it, you can't do it. <clears throat> Oh, please. <clears throat> Straight here. Okay. 
Point this way. Yep. Tighten the you. stomach. <sighs> Lift the rib cage. All right. Now breathe. <laughs> you don't like when women tell you what to do, do you? You haven't talked to a real man in a while, have you? Is that what you are? A real man? Yeah. You want to find out? <sighs> so bad. <laughs> Cell phone. Cell phone. Where's my cell phone? Oh, right. <laughs> Those are not approved stretching exercises. <laughs>
the JV cheerleaders are having their tryouts, and a few of us are gonna go over and, you know. Watch girls kick and bend? Basically. Great, so the hormone fairy got you too. Oh, hey, everybody. Whoa, what happened to you? Uh, I was out late last night, didn't get much sleep. <laughs> what are you doing up this early? I thought you were allergic to dawn. Well, I have my practice 5K with Lindsay. She should be here any minute. Morning. Or sooner. Hey, I'm gonna make us some omelets. What do you want in yours? Mm, coffee. coffee. You know, I think she may have slept over. Really? Get out of here. I'm glad I don't have to be anywhere this morning. Um, actually, you were supposed to be someplace. Really? Yeah, here. You know, our run at 7.30 sharp. Oh, yeah. Sorry. There's no need to apologize, Lynn. It's only, um, 7.29. You're actually here early. You drink your coffee, we get some breakfast in you, and you'll be good to go. Isn't that right? Yeah, sure. What a great morning, huh? I'm making breakfast. Lindsay's already here, and as soon as you pull that stick out of your butt, you'll be going for a nice run. I'm sorry I got mad back there, Lindsay. You know, I'm really counting on this run today, and I appreciate you getting yourself together for me. Lindsay, you gotta pull back now. Oh, this is working out perfect. <laughs>you so much. I had quite a workout there, draping a blanket over my unconscious trainer. Look, it's my fault she was out so late. So don't be mad at her, just be mad at me. Done. <laughs> One error in judgment mine shouldn't destroy your whole friendship with Lindsay, all right? She's a great girl and a phenomenal trainer. I mean, she has flexibility, Mel. Like, I have Okay, okay, stop her. right there. Okay, I forgive Lindsay and you eventually, but you need to be aware of what I'm doing with Lindsay. And you need to be aware of what I'm doing with no, Lindsay. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. The enemy's just coming back. Look, look, I mean, clearly, we need to be more serious about how we schedule these things, because just being respectful of each other is not really working out. So how about this? All right, you set all of your workout times, and then Lindsay and I will plan our dates around that. This way, nobody gets hurt. Fine. Okay, tomorrow's Sunday, and we're not working out, and tonight I have my big town hall meeting, so the kids will be at their party, and you guys can have the house to yourselves. Just do whatever you want. I just don't want to hear about it, and I definitely don't want to see it. Deal. Ooh, you really are getting stronger. No, this time it's really anger. <laughs> Ugh, football. Do you ever watch football? Only ironically. <laughs> but uh, you know who really likes football? Alexis. Yeah. Lennox, if I were to, let's say hypothetically, uh, break up with Alexis, do you think that you might hypothetically want to go out with me? What? I mean, if you were willing to commit, I'd drop Alexis in a nanosecond. It's a very small unit of time. Where... No, but yeah, I know. <laughs> wow, uh, this is very flattering. So you're good to go? You'll be my girlfriend, I'll call her right now. Okay, wait, so if I agree to go out with you, you'll dump Alexis, but if I say no, you'll stay with her? Yeah, it's simple economics. You know, a guy doesn't quit a job until he's got another one lined up, and I don't wanna go back to being self-employed. <laughs> Okay, but if we're dating and you find another girl who's even hotter, will you dump me? Of course not. Wait, how hot are we talking? Stacy Glaskell? <laughs> Beckett, what has happened to you? I don't know. You know, I never had a girlfriend till a month ago, and now I see all these possibilities, and it's very overwhelming. Well, let's make this simpler for you. You now have one less possibility. Oh. So we're... Back to being friends? Uh-huh. With no chance of it turning into anything else? No chance. So no hard feelings then if I take off and go see Alexis? <laughs> yeah, fine, go! Go see Alexis, go see Stacy, because according to you, all girls are interchangeable. There's no difference at all. Ugh, what was I thinking? I miss him already. <laughs> Please don't be doing it. Please don't be doing it. Please don't be doing it. I'll just grab another bottle of wine, all right? <laughs> what, what the hell are you doing here? What happened to the house is all mine tonight? Well, it is. It is. I'm just going to sneak upstairs and put on my sex-canceling headphones. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Get down here. 
You told me you were gonna be at City Hall all night tonight. There was a bomb scare. What was I supposed to do? I don't know. Stay there. Take one for the team. <laughs> no. What a nice surprise. Uh, yeah, I, I'm a uh, quiet, invisible surprise. I'm just gonna grab this um, delicious container of uh, brown food meat and uh, go upstairs and eat it all by myself in my room. Nice, bon appetit. No, Joe, go get another plate for Mel. I'm going to bring her wine glasses in. <laughs> all right, Lance. Take your nondescript leftovers and get upstairs right now. Well, Lindsay invited me to dinner. Well, I'm uninviting you. Look, look something kind of special is starting to happen here, all right? I think she is becoming my girlfriend. And, you know, I don't normally pull rank here, but uh, girlfriend trumps trainer. Oh, really? I didn't know we were playing rock, paper, scissors, girlfriend, trainer. <laughs> All right, you're right. Yeah, I, I guess I can find a new trainer much, much easier than you can find a new girlfriend. You really could have just stopped it, you're right. Just let me tell her, okay? Fine, all right. I'm gonna go grab another bottle of wine. I'll be right back. Hey, uh, Lindsay, sit down. Let's, let's talk for a second. Um, I'm not gonna be able to train with you anymore. Why? Well, because it's just messy with the three of us, you know? And what you and Joe have is more important, you know? You guys have a real relationship. No, we don't. <laughs> Say what? No, I wouldn't call it a relationship. I'd call it a great way to burn calories. Oh, oh so that's all Joe is to you, just cardio? <laughs> There's some strength training in there, too. <laughs> if you thought I was serious about Joe? No way. Oh, so this was always about the sex? Not just sex. Great sex. <laughs> just between us, I'm getting back with Josh. Cheater, Josh? Yeah, he begged me to come back. And Joe, he's my secret revenge that no one has to know about. So, uh, where does this leave Joe? Right here. You know, uh, Linz, I was, I was saving this bottle of wine for a special occasion. Thought tonight might be it. Special night, special lady. <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna say this. Well, guys, I had a big lunch, so I should just head home. So tomorrow at 7 as usual? Nah, you know, I, uh, I think I'm gonna give a new trainer a try. You know, a local guy. <laughs> mm, this ZD is really great. She is missing something. She sure is. I thought you were saving that bottle for someone special. Yeah, well, you know, I don't, don't want to go all the way up and down the stairs again. Mm. You're a true romantic. I am. Eight, Eight. Mm -hmm. mm. nine, good. Ten. Ten, nice. Okay, look, that's the stew, all right? You keep going. I'm gonna go check it and be right back. Let's go. Eleven. Eleven. Right. 12, Twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen. Keep going, keep going. Fourteen. Fifteen. <laughs> Sixteen. Seventeen. Twenty. Five. Fifteen. Ten. Mel. Twenty-one. <laughs> Listen, Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. Morning. Good morning, Joe. Can I get you something? Eggs, bacon, French toast. What do you want from me? What? Can't someone do something nice for a friend? Sure. What do you want from me? Wow, you really think every gift comes with strings attached, huh? You live in a sad world, Longo. A sad, sad world. <laughs> that, Ow. No bacon until you teach me Japanese. Japanese? How did I not see that coming? Well, I've been wooing Kimura Industries for months now to open a new office in Toledo. And the CEO is finally coming to meet me. If this works out, it could lead to lots of good paying jobs and uh, maybe I can get one of those knives that cuts through a soda can. 
Lots of new jobs would be awesome. You know, you'd look like a uh, hero. Really? Well, I hadn't thought of that. You know, I'd do anything for you. Oh, thank you so much. But I can't help you. Hey, hands off, that's payment bacon. <laughs> Yes, I learned Japanese for business, but it's not something I can teach you overnight. Well, you don't have to. Manzo Kimura, the CEO, he speaks English, so I just need to have a few phrases to show him I made an effort. All right, fine. But in order to teach you the right phrases, I need to know what this uh, Kimura guy is like. Oh, here. That's him. He's like 80. You gotta be careful with these old business executives, Mel. You know, sometimes they don't always respect career women. Oh, well, he'll respect me. Just teach me to say, I may be a girl, but I can drink you under the table, sucker. <laughs> I think your demeanor already says that. <laughs> Let's uh, start with the basics, shall we? Um, hello, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Nice. Goodbye. Sayonara. Sayonara. Hello, goodbye. I can already sing a whole Beatles song. <laughs> I'm great at this. All right, give me another one and make it hard. Okay. Um, pleased to meet you. Hajime mashite. Hajime mashite. Ooh, I could say it's serious. Hajime mashite. Or I could say it happy. Hajime mashite! Or I could say it like Yogi Bear. Hey, Hajime mashite, boo boo! Okay, uh, all right, one more, and uh, give me something that's gonna impress Kimura. Okay, uh, here is, um, did you have a pleasant flight? Komochi ga ii suru no tabi deshite ka. Komochi ga ii deshite ka. How was that? You just asked Kimura if he was pleasured on his flight. I haven't flown first class in a while, but that would be uh, one hell of an upgrade. <laughs> it's all good. All good. It's okay. Okay. It's all right. All right. As far as I can see, it's all good. All good. It's okay. Okay. It's all right. All right. I guess you're stuck with me. Nice. Yeah, it was good. Just one small thing. When meeting a Japanese CEO, you might want to say, um, pleased to meet you, not where is the bathroom. Darn, I keep mixing those two up. Why'd you teach me where's the bathroom anyway? This is my city. I know where all the good bathrooms are. It'll come in handy with Kimura and his old man bladder. Okay, all eyes on me because this is important. Of course it is. A and I'm sure it's the worst thing that ever happened and the first time it's ever happened to anybody. So get this. Everyone had to pair up to do a Civil War project, and Mr. Beagle assigned me to work with Kelsey Moncrief. No! Not Kelsey Moncrief! Who is Kelsey Moncrief? I have no idea. I just like saying Kelsey Moncrief. It almost sounds like swearing. That guy just cut me off. Hey, pal! Kelsey Moncrief! You know what? You're right. It really does. Anyway... There's this new boy in school, Brayden. Brayden, doesn't anyone name their kid Steve anymore? I mean, you know, it's all like Bristol and Syrah. I mean, that's probably what they were drinking the night they... Go on. So, Kelsey and I were best friends. Then everybody told me she was saying really horrible things about me, and we never talked again. Honey, can you get to the Brayden part? Because I'm just not that riveted by the buildup. <laughs> So, for 11 straight days, I said hi to Brayden at lunch. And the day I was going to make my move and sit with him, guess who swoops in and offers him half her sandwich? Kelsey Moncrief. You know, honey, but just because Kelsey talks to Brayden doesn't mean he likes her. Oh, yeah? They make out every day on the baseball field. Oh, they do. <laughs> they even stand on the correct base. <laughs> you spend a lot of time watching them kiss, do you? Because, you know, it's okay not to. <laughs> Just want to put that out there. You know, honey, this sucks, but um, maybe you can find a way to channel your anger into creativity, you know? What's the assignment? Kelsey is coming over here later to make a diorama of the Battle of Buffington Island. It's the only major battle ever fought in Ohio. You mean uh, until you and Kelsey? <laughs> honey, look, I know you're in a tough spot, but when Kelsey gets here, I'm sure you're going to handle this in a mature way. Diorama. I wish she'd diorama. <laughs> <laughs> mature, very mature. <laughs> Steph, I'm getting worried. Mr. Kamara's late and almost 80. If he's not here in five minutes, I'm Googling him to see if he died. <laughs> Meru Buck? Yes, and you are... Uh, oh, Toshi Kamara, you must be Mr. Kamara's son. 
Hajime mashite. Uh, hajime mashite. <laughs> I must admit, I practiced that all day. Could you tell? Yes, thank you. <laughs> well, where's your father? Yes, thank you. Okay, you don't understand a word I'm saying, do you? Yes, thank you. Uh, hey, uh, I'm just gonna make a phone call, you know, beep, 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 beep. I don't know why I'm miming, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> yeah? Joe, uh, Mr. Kimura can't make it, and he sent his son, a delightful gentleman who speaks exactly three words of English. Um, can you please get your translating butt down here, now? I don't know, Burke. ESPN's running this beach volleyball marathon. Longo, I'm dying here. All right, fine. But it's gonna cost you a lot more than breakfast bacon. How much more? You're gonna be doing my laundry for the next month. What? Yeah, haven't you heard? Joe Longo lives in a sad, sad world where every gift comes with strings attached. <laughs> Sayonara, baby. I wanted to help all of the people of Toledo. So I ran for office and was elected a city council person, the youngest ever. Uh, can I um, buy you more glug, 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 glug? Yes, thank you. Uh, everybody speaks boobs. <laughs> Joe, Joe, oh, thank God you're here. I've been nodding like a bobblehead. This is my translator. He's not deaf, Burke. I just want to ask you to Burke, no, I can know your language. Yeah, we've been communicating entirely through charades. Um, Toshi's dad couldn't make it because he ate some bad shark, or else he was eaten by a shark. I, I don't know. I'm better at giving clues, okay? Relax, Longo's got you covered. <clears throat> Toledo, uh, you want to Hi, I'm Akasuka, Ni. Ah, you Ah, business guy. Then, あの、ロパンギでやってことは、ロパンギでおさめましょう。ああ、ドンマイメ。マイスティープリトルビジネスティールキンウィーク。イズジャパニーズカスタムズアーソフレストレイティング。イズジャパニーズカスタムズアーソ
She heard you. これは我が社にとっても素晴らしくいい機会です。This could be an excellent opportunity for our company. Oh, and for Toledo as well. <笑>トリドニモ。<笑>それにしてもあなたの美しさはこのシャンパンよりも私を酔わせる。そして新たな瞳はまるで輝くダイヤモンドのようだ What did he say? He said that he admires your choice of champagne tonight Only the best for my friend from Japan お褒めのお言葉ありがとうございます兄のように思います私を兄のようにだなんて思わないでくださいそうだ日本一美味しい福島の酒でこの取引をまとめましょうホテルの部屋にボトルがあるんですご一緒してください通訳の彼は家に帰して He says he needs to go to bed <笑> All that was he needs to go to bed? Well, he used the polite form, you know What a shame, but you know, I should probably get home too I'm stuffed, you know, always tired after a big meal ご招待大変なここにいいや思いますあーブロッコリーあーデガスカーあーもとはイルウィーカモゲリッツゲリッツゲリッツゲリッツゲリッツゲリッツゲリッツゲリッツゲリッツゲリッツゲリッツゲリッツゲリッツゲリッツゲ Onion ring loaf was an exotic treat. Kimi wa konna iroppo i joshi ga ite un no i ya. Arigatou gozaimasu. Demo kanojo wa watashi no joshi jya arimasen. Watashi wa baito nan desu. Still no word from Toshi or his office? No, nothing. You know, I thought things went so well last night. And. Not just about the new office in Toledo. I kind of got the feeling that Toshi was, you know, sort of attracted to me. But you don't speak Japanese. How could you tell? But you know, it was just a, a feeling, like body language. Oh yeah, like Mark from Personnel, who always rubs up against me in the elevator. <laughs> uh, that's a different kind of feel. You should report that. <laughs> And uh, take the stairs next time. Delivery from Mel Burke. Oh, it's from Toshi. Long stemmed roses and a crystal vase? That means the same thing in every language. This Toshi's got bank. <laughs> Please forgive bad Google translation. It was pleasurable doing the business with you. You did the business with him? <laughs> Hope you're enjoying more healthy today. Your eyes are beautiful, even when you are sick with diarrhea. <laughs> you told him you had diarrhea? Blondes can say anything and guys still want you. <laughs> I didn't tell him that. Joe must have told him I had diarrhea! Why would you tell Joe that? I didn't tell him that. Joe must have come out with that all on his own. Why? Why would Joe say you had diarrhea? That's something we'll never know, because before he has a chance to tell me, I'm gonna kill him! I just wanted to thank you again for translating last night. I'm glad I could help. You know, it's funny. At the end of the night, I felt like there was a little spark between Toshi and me, you know, an unspoken connection. I don't know, but then it just kind of fizzled out mysteriously. Really? I mean, I, I know you made a couple of jokes, but um, you know, I didn't see any real connection there. <sighs> I felt something, I'm sure. Yeah, well, you know, with matters of the heart, Burke, you can uh, never really be sure. True, true, unless you get flowers and a card that says, I really like you. Hope your diarrhea is all better. Wow, uh, Toshi's English is really improving. What were you thinking? I mean, it's got to be one of two things. Either it was temporary insanity or permanent insanity. Burke, let me explain. No, 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 no. And if it was insanity, I could forgive you, but I'm just not buying that defense, so it's got to be what? I... Jealousy? Jealousy? Now who's talking crazy? I was doing you a favor. What favor? What favor? I'll tell you what favor, all right? The favor was... Look, Toshi is a very important businessman, okay? But he is not the right guy for you. Based on what? Based on what? Based on a feeling. No, you know what? It was more than a feeling. I had an intuition. You had an intuition? Yeah, I had an intuition. Okay, well, uh, Joe, I can't see it up your skirt from here, so I gotta ask, are you a woman? 
Oh, I see. What, men can't have intuitions? Oh, no, 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 no. Men have intuitions all the time. The only difference is when men have them, they are always wrong. <laughs> what you did didn't only affect me. It could have killed the whole deal for Toledo. Look, if Toshi truly is not a scoundrel, he will not kill the deal over something like this. Well, luckily, Toshi didn't kill the deal. His assistant called from Japan and set up another meeting. Toshi said he wants to continue our conversation at his hotel tonight. That's great. That's fantastic. Okay, look, and I promise you, tonight, I will translate every single word you say perfectly, all right? Great. All right. You can meet us at a quarter past. You must be crazy if you think I'd hire you again! <laughs> I need another guy. Just take one, like you always do. <laughs> almost done, almost done, almost done. Thank God, thank God, thank God. <laughs> it's Brayden, excuse me. Yeah, since when do you need my permission? <laughs> oh my God, what happened? He says, getting my license Friday and babe, I need my freedom. We'll always have second base. <laughs> Did Brayden just break up with you? You win. He's all yours. I'd never go out with him now. He broke up with you in a text message. Nobody does that to my ex-best friend. <laughs> you mean that? Yeah, after all we've been through. I mean, you were there for me when I had my big crisis in second grade. Well, cursive is tough. <laughs> you know, when I transferred here, I heard you were still a bitch, but you're not like that. Yeah, and I heard you were a two-faced slut. I think the only reason we stopped getting along was because of a bunch of stupid rumors. I am so done with all that petty gossip. Me too. <laughs> Who, Who said, said I was, was a slut? bitch? <laughs> Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I've got a new one. Um, Tole wa doko desu ka? Ah, hai, kotsura desu. Oh, no, 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 I don't actually have to use the bathroom. So I, I, I was just showing off. So, uh, yeah, I am, uh, tummy is all good. Thumbs up, no problems down there at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness is right. <laughs> you know, Toshi, even though we don't speak the same language, I really like you. Not sure what you just said, but you sure look pretty saying it. <laughs> See, like that. You know, usually when I meet a cute guy, I spend so much energy trying to hide what I'm thinking, but with you, I can just say it. Sake? Oh, uh, we'll get to that. But first, business before pleasure. Um, uh, your assistant said there'd be a translator. What time is the translator coming? Hi, I'm Passion. <laughs> You are the translator? Sure. I'm whatever you want me to be. OK, um, I think there's been a misunderstanding. I got a call. I came over. I understand it. No, 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 no. You see, Toshi doesn't speak the language. Yes, thank you. See, he doesn't know English. He only knows three words. Yes, three some. Well, what do you know? Toshi learned a fourth word. <laughs> um, OK, well, Toshi, uh, you can translate this. Kelsey Moncrief. Kelsey Moncrief? Sure, but it'll cost you extra. I didn't expect you home this early. Yeah, well, Toshi's a busy guy. Turns out I wasn't the only thing on his to-do list tonight. What happened? It's just, ugh. I can't talk about it. All right, I get it. You don't want to talk about it, you don't have to talk about it. Oh, Toshi's gross, you know? He's a slime ball, a sleaze bag. Uh, do we have enough pervs here in Toledo now we have to start importing them? <laughs> so, yes, Longo, your intuition was absolutely right. It was? I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's right. It was. <laughs> Lucky for you, I had such uh, good intuition. <laughs> well, I'm gonna head upstairs and have the hazmat team hose me off. <laughs> Joe, you remember yesterday when I, uh you know, accused you of being kind of jealous. Yeah. Now I know I was wrong. You know, it wasn't about that at all. You were just protecting me. Yep, that's right. That's what I was doing. Just looking out for you. Thanks. Hey. You know, sometimes we all uh, misinterpret.
Hey. Good news. Toshi's dad had parasites. Yay! Go parasites! No, that means Manzo Kimura wasn't eaten by a shark. He's coming here to talk to me about opening that new office. Does Kimura know when his son tried to pull on you? Well, he will once I tell him, Toshiwa Ukina so Sejio Motimas. You know what you just said, Burke? Yeah, Toshi is a huge wiener. Ass. You just said, he has. Man, this is one tricky language. Melissa and Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. Wow, Joe, you were the pledge master of your college fraternity and captain of your rowing team? And the wrestling team, but really they're just titles, guys. You know, titles are meaningless unless you're the president. <laughs> Turn the page. <clears throat> wow, president of the student body. Look at that long wavy hair. <laughs> and that mustache. Very Ned Flanders. <laughs> yeah, we had a mustache growing contest. Clearly there were no winners. <laughs> This is me singing in that rock cappella group that I began. It's called the uh, Treble Makers. See, Joe, this is a much better way to relive your college years. Hey, going to that reunion would have just been asking for treble. Who says I'm not going? Well, I mean, come on, you had a rough year, the scandal, the divorce, the bankruptcy. Yeah, I mean, the highlight of your year was getting a job as a nanny. Thank you for all the sunshine, everybody. But I'm going, all right? I was Joe Longo then, and I'm Joe Longo now. My self-esteem does not depend on what a bunch of my former classmates think, all right? I am walking in there with my head held high. Oh, you found a hot date, didn't you? Burnt my tongue, yeah. Singed my eyebrows. <laughs> That's not the reason why I'm going. But it helps. Immeasurably. <laughs> it's all good. All good. It's okay. wants you to have drinks with Gustavo Carvalho. You know, the Brazilian artist who drapes buildings in tinfoil? What? The power of my art is its intentional randomness. It's big stuff wrapped in foil, dude. Get a life. <laughs> His installation in Chicago brought in 500,000 tourists. Like I said, the man's a genius. <laughs> well, the mayor wants me to wine and dine Gustavo. I'll just have to go and flirt and toss my hair. Ugh, I'm such a floozy for Toledo. <laughs> Don't you women understand that agreeing to a date is like a contract? You can't just cancel the date before the event because, you know, your mother suddenly needs platelets. Your date canceled? <laughs> How horrible. Whatever will you do? Come on, you can't find another flashy, large-breasted TV weather girl, or as I like to call them, cumulo bimbus. Donna is a meteorologist. Yeah, you're thinking with your barometer. Look, she's Ivy League educated, all right? She is smart, charming, funny, Double-jointed everything you want when you go to a reunion, and now she's gone. Look, now you have a good excuse not to go. If I don't show up, he's right. He wins, and he gets the last laugh, okay? Ugh, I hate when he has the last laugh. <laughs> Who he? Kyle Cookler. We competed for everything in school, and I always won. And on the last day of school, he comes up to me, and he says, Joe Longo, one day I will be top dog, and that will be the worst day of your life. Well, how do you know he's on top? I mean, maybe he's a nanny somewhere. <laughs> not that that's a bad thing. Absolutely. Yeah, well, um, here's the latest issue of um, Not a Nanny magazine. Look at this. Six-page spread, all right, on his amazing life. His Fifth Avenue penthouse. I mean, it focuses mainly on the dog's rooms here, but look, it mentions uh, Cookler's yacht, his beauty queen physicist wife. See, I need somebody like that. Looks and brains. All right, fine, fine. Stop begging. I will go with you. <laughs> I don't want you to go with me. Hmm. Yeah, you do. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. I don't want you to go with me. Joe's got 
Dakota's reunion and I've got my dinner thingy. We're both gonna be late, so I want you to babysit each other. Do you think you can handle that? Don't play with matches. Don't order naked movies. We're good. <laughs> All right, now here's $20 each for food. No friends over and stay out of trouble or I will come to your school and kiss you at lunch. <laughs> All right, are you thinking what I'm thinking? How to order naked movies with cash? <laughs> no, perv. Okay, I'll give you a hint. What comes before part B? Part A! <laughs> Let's throw one. We have 40 bucks and no adults. Why do you want to have a party? Okay, fine. I'll say it in dork. Because the adults are not here. We have a responsibility to be irresponsible. It's a lot of pressure. Cool. So, we'll invite the drama kids, the blog squad, the girl who got struck by lightning, everybody who's interesting. Plus you. A, a couple cheerleaders? No. One cheerleader. Fine. For diversity. <laughs> Right, remember, you're my backup girl, okay? Don't leave me alone with the master of tinfoil. We'll be out of here just as soon as we can convince him how great the Toledo courthouse will look as a giant ding-dong. Hi, excuse me, are you ladies... Thirsty, uh... good call. I would like a dirty martini, extra olives, and my friend here will have a vodka tonic. Please don't card her. She's an adult, even though she buys her clothes at Build-A-Bear. I like their shoes. We're waiting for the rest of our party to arrive. Gustavo Carvalho, uh, the avant-garde artist. Uh, more like con artist. He wraps buildings in tin foil. I assume to lock in the flavor. Crazy world. Someone could splash paint on a toilet seat and call it art. Exactly. And people pay for that crap. <laughs> You're Gustavo Carvalho, aren't you? How awkward for you. Wow. Well. The good news is, uh, my tube top falling down during the electric slide at my Sweet 16 is no longer the most humiliating moment of my life. It's okay. Sometimes even I don't understand my art. One thing I do understand, though, is the effect a beautiful woman has on me. Oh. <laughs> Go on. So that's one dirty martini, extra olives for the lovely councilwoman, and, uh, please tell me again what you were having. Oh, a lovely cab ride home. Yeah, she was just leaving. <laughs> I thought I was your backup girl. You were, a backup girl. Right out the door. Yeah, I can handle this. So, um, you ever foil wrap the city official? Joe Longo? Joe Longo? You showed up. Oh. That is so brave. We heard about everything. It was so awful. But you're still standing. Actually, ladies, I'm uh, doing all right. Yeah, sure you are. You just keep repeating that, honey. Hey, Joe Longo showed up. Mikey, what's going on, man? Longo! Jamie! Oh, my God. What happened? Uh, it's no big deal. I mean, nothing compared to what happened to you, man. It's a tough break. Thank you. I appreciate all of your uh, <laughs> pity. <laughs> he showed up. I think you owe me a little something something. what everyone here is thinking, this party sucks. Relax, it's still early. The interesting people come fashionably late. That's why they're interesting. All right, there you go. Party officially on. Come on, put on your party face. Six extra large pizzas? That'd be $40. So what's going on here? We're uh, having a party. Yeah, it's the Razor. <laughs> He came at the right time. You can avoid the line to the bathroom. Anyway, thanks for the pizza. And thanks for not tipping. All that extra money would have just weighed me down. You're snarky. I like snarky. You want to stay for the party? Sure. I guess I could stay until the cops break this thing up. Got anything to eat? Uh, pizza. Oh, pizza. That'd be different. <laughs> well, excuse me while I go flirt with girls who aren't here. Sure, that'd be different. You left Facebook, man. 
Who does that? I needed some privacy till I got back on my feet. No offense, Jamie. <laughs> Please, I lost a feeling in my legs, not my sense of humor. Hey, Jamie, did I see you driving up in a Porsche Carrera? Oh, yeah. Six cylinders, Bose surround, cherry wood hand controls. I'm telling you, the thing is a chick magnet. Plus, I get to park anywhere I want. Bam! Hey, Joe, you still driving that Porsche of yours? No. Okay, no, would I... you give the poor son of a bitch a break? He's been through a lot. Hey, I didn't ask what happened to all the wavy hair. Hey, this is a choice. Yeah, so is this wheelchair. Oh, my God, guys. Kyle Cookler just called from his helicopter. He's on his way. Please, please, you don't have to apologize. I hear comments like that all the time about my work. What is it? Is it tart? Is it, uh, baked potato? <laughs> is it a big-ass to-go meal? The world's largest garlic bread. Jiffy Pop for giants. I've been saving a lot. I'm flattered you have put so much thought into my work. <laughs> Gustavo, you know, I think Toledo would be very lucky to have your next installation. I, I think it would be very, uh, stimulating. Oh? For the city, not just me. <laughs> Do you have to take that? Nah, it's just my nanny. He can leave a message. Oh, what if it's about your kids? Nah, I left them home alone. <laughs> yeah, they're fine. My nanny's at his college reunion. I know exactly what he's calling to say. I'm here, having the time of my life. You were wrong, I was right. You were right, I was wrong. <laughs> I know I don't say that very often now. All right, I've never said that, but what can I say? I am literally having the worst night of my life. The only good news is there's an open bar here. Anyway, I'm not running away. Nope. Going down swigging. I, I mean, um, I mean swinging. Oh, hell, I mean swigging. The mayor says he'll give you the key to the city. Well, it's not really a key, it's a magnetic swipey thing, but you know, it'll give you 10% off anything at the Children's Museum. Mel, please listen to that message. The blinking light is quite insistent. I'm sorry, it's just. I've never said that, but what can I say? I am literally having the worst night of my life. Isabel? Isabel Ryan. Oh, my God. Joe Longo? Hey. Hi. Wow, you are not fat and old like half these people. <laughs> and you've been changed a bit. You look great. You look amazing. Thank you. So do you. <laughs> what have you been up to? Yeah, like you don't know. <laughs> oh, you don't know? Um... Well, let's just say, uh, I'm sort of in a, uh, in a post-awesome phase. Well, you and me both. So let's see, last time I talked to you, um, you were gonna get married to Steve, right? Then you were gonna head to New York and become an actress. <laughs> was that me? Okay, well, Steve is now happily married to Eric. Yep. And you know that musical, Legally Blonde? Yeah. I did 500 performances as left mezzanine usher. But you know what? Life happens, right? You pick yourself up, you put on your lipstick, and you go to your reunion. I did that, too. N not the lipstick part, though. <laughs> I've had a few uh, career setbacks myself as of late, and, and uh, currently I'm working as a, um, well, as a uh, nanny. <laughs> nanny! Beige minivan! Receptionist at my brother's law firm, and I take the bus! <laughs> You and I never went out. Because you always had a girlfriend. Sometimes more than one. Not that guy anymore. <laughs> he was something though, huh? Do you want to um find a table away from all these annoying successful people? I'd love to. Let me just make a quick phone call. Joe? Steph, hey, look, um, I left Mel a message earlier. Um, and I told her I was having a terrible time here, but um, my night is sort of turning around a little bit, and um, I may be home late. So um, can you just tell her that I... Joe? Joe? What's that? What's terrible? I can't hear you. Just um, tell her to disregard the previous message, OK? Stephanie, can you hear me? Stephanie, hello. Stephanie, is that um your girlfriend? No, no, um, I do not have a girlfriend. I'm Joe Longo's girlfriend. <laughs> I need to get in there. I 
Don't think you're on the list. What's your name? Uh, Saeed Alfabi. Oh, you look different. Some of us work out. <laughs> Two more coming up, all right? Yeah. Mel. Joe, darling, it's me. Your beautiful, smart, and successful girlfriend. <laughs> You sound like you're having a terrible time. So come on, show me off. I so want to meet all of my Help. boyfriend's classmates. <laughs> oh, is this one of them? Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm Mel Burke, city council person, but also, you know, Joe's girlfriend. Oh, no, 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 she is not my girlfriend. <laughs> all right, fine. I have to be honest, I'm not his girlfriend. I'm his fiance. I just can't get used to saying it out loud. <laughs> not that guy anymore, huh? No. You haven't changed at all. Wait, 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 wait. Nice meeting you. Great shoes. See you at the wedding. Oh. Who's that? She's pretty cute. Yeah, somebody really great that I was just reconnecting with until the love of my life showed up. My fake frigging fiance. Okay, all right. Not to worry. I'm great with people. I will just go over there and talk to her, and I will straighten this out in a jiff, which is shorter than a jiffy. That's how good I am. <laughs> hey. Hi, uh, Isabel. Sorry, I... Funny story, I hope. Um... I'm not actually Joe's girlfriend or his fiance. He works for me, and I thought if I came down here and told people we were a couple, that... look, the point is, Joe's a great guy. You know, he's handsome and smart and funny, and he's gonna make some lucky lady very happy. You know, that kiss back there was awfully convincing. But that? That kiss? No, 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 that was our first and last, okay? And right after we're done talking, I'm gonna go Purell my lips. <laughs> Come on, you two obviously hit it off. Well, we were sort of clicking. Good, go, click some more. Click your asses off. Uh, hi. Do you want to dance? I thought you'd never ask. So you have a pretty nice boss. Oh, she's not my boss. <laughs> Technically, um, she's my friend. Actually, I'm, I'm really more freelance. I'm sorry that I doubted you. I just remembered the old Joe Longo, the one who had girls fighting over him. Yeah, that guy's not me. That guy is long gone. Out of my way! Out of my way! I'm Mrs. Joe Longo! <laughs> oh, honey, it's me, your wife, from our marriage. Stephanie. Stephanie. Don't worry, baby. Mama's here. I... And to think I almost missed this. Well, wasn't that epic? We had more pizzas than people. That was not my fault. I tweeted a great invite. Look, it was witty and clever. Nobody came because they didn't know when to show up. You put the party time as question mark to question mark. No, that is not why... Oh, yeah. Well, why didn't you proofread this before? You don't proofread a tweet. It's 140 characters. How do you screw that up? Well, I guess we better clean up. No one was here to make a mess. We're a disappointment to teenagers everywhere. <sighs> All right, send Stephanie home. And that girl seriously needs to get a life. Always trying to save the day, come to the rescue. <laughs> what? Okay, I know, I can be overprotective and over-involved and over-dramatic, but that's only because I over-care. Well, you need to get over yourself. I can take care of me. Oh? Did you get Isabel to give you her number? No, after Stephanie's one-woman show, I never saw her again. Well, then I think you're gonna be very happy about this. Buy 10 Froyos, get the 11th free? <laughs> Wrong card, here. Isabel Ryan? Is this your phone number? Yes, sir. Yeah. I don't mess everything up. I ran into her in the parking lot, told her what really happened. She said a story as lame as that has got to be true. Thank you, Burke, for repairing almost all the damage that you did. You're welcome. Guess my work here is done. Oh, great. Just when my night was looking up, Kyle friggin' Cookler. 
You see that, Mel? A year ago, that was my life. I was that guy. Yeah, well, he's just another tall, rich, extremely handsome loser. Come on, let's get out of here. No. I can handle it. Joe Longo. Mighty Joe Longo. I haven't seen you since graduation. A few things have changed, huh? I read the papers. Yeah, a lot of things have changed. How you been, Kyle? Oh, can you hold on, Joe? This is business. You remember that. Yes, Mr. Drexel? What? Yes, of course, I could be at the office in the hour. Uh, no, 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 sir, not a problem. Yes, with the entire cost breakdown, but... Sure. No, no, I, I, I am not at a party. I'm on my way, sir. Look, Joe, uh, I gotta run. Take care, Kyle, we'll see you around. Alyssa! Really? Here? Come on. Oh, it looks like your buddy has quite the life. Yeah. Is it terrible I feel so great about that? Not at all. No, you know what? I was wrong about reunions. That, right there, is totally worth you coming. <laughs> so how did your, um, dinner with the foil guy go? Oh, my God. He's in a taxi out front! <laughs> Hi, Gustavo. Thank you. Hey, give me that taxi receipt. I can deduct it. <laughs> Lennox, Ryder, what happened here? Did you guys have a party? You wouldn't believe it if we told you. We invited everyone from school, but there may have been a little confusion. <laughs> uh, the confusion was two people not listening to me. Upstairs. I'll deal with you two in the morning if you will kindly remind me. <laughs> I can't believe it. They totally just didn't listen to you. Yeah. It's so cute, they're growing up. <laughs> oh, man. Whew, what a night. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh, by the way, when you went in for that attack kiss of yours, I think you chipped my front tooth. Well, I didn't expect you to open your mouth. My jaw was dropping in shock. <laughs> God, you really went for it. I was just trying to sell it. Yeah, well, you were pretty convincing. Yeah, well, I'm a good salesperson. Yeah, well, next time, give me a little warning, okay? What do you mean, next time? I don't mean next time, next time. I mean, just don't do it again. Huh. You should be so lucky.